There we go. That a boy. So on today's episode, I'm with my good buddy Cal's feel, and we're on Malax. So we're gonna do a little bit of a one-two presentation and different tactics for catching these fish out here for end of May and early June. In-depth outdoors, go angling. Brought to you by Gander Outdoors. All right, so we just got out on the water. Uh, our first approach for what we're gonna do today is we're gonna target the shoreline breaks and looking for a little bit of rock. We're gonna use our side imaging and just run along the north shore. We're out of garrison and hopefully we can find some fish. And as soon as we do, we'll swing right around on them and get on top of them. All right, so as you can see, we found a bunch of rock here and there's definitely some fish mixed right in with them. And they could be smallmouths, they could be walleyes, but this is a great starting point. Yeah, looks like the most fish we've seen coming up this break, so yeah, let's give it a go. Oh, there we go. Oh boy. Boy, did he whack it. That <laughs> looks like it. <laughs> Wasn't paying attention looking at the graph and he just got thump. He's got some good head shakes there. Mm-hmm. We just went by this this uh, shoreline break here. We're on the north end of Lake Mille Lacs and definitely marked a couple pods of a little bit nicer fish and we spun around and we're just using the Tarova in the bow there on, uh, we got it linked, so we're just following the contour line and that spending more time fishing than running the boat. All right, pop that out there. Nice little fish. There's a ton of these like 19 inches in here right now. Just packed full of them. But I just started out with a real basic presentation there, that quarter ounce VMC moon eye jig with a three and a quarter inch B fish and tackle pulsar. I think that's the pro blue, real natural pattern. Definitely wasn't a subtle bite at all. No. He Rocked your world it. right away. <laughs> came hey, back he came it. back and ate it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, it's, it's a bass. It's, it's a bass, it's too. It's a big yeah. bass. Multi-species day Yeah, today. that's a really nice bass. Well, they sure are fun in this clear water to see. There we go. Oh, he nice ate fish. that thing. Yeah, he did. Where is it? Pre-spawner there. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. Three-eighths ounce slab wrap that you can see here in the, the number one forage base of Mille Lacs Lake, Yellow Perch. YP, like we like to call it. Nice bass, look at that belly chunker. Get her back right away. Thank you. Good work. Yeah, that was that was weird. It, it came up, must have slashed at it, and then the bait was just free falling back on the slack line, and whack, you can see how hard it hit it, just mm. inhaled it. <laughs> Not just for ice fishing anymore, the slab wrap. Yeah. Maybe we're onto something. Mm-hmm. There we go. Maybe the net on that one, or? Oh, no, I'll just grab him. Looks like another one of those 19 inches. Okay, good, I'm gonna get back in the water then. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I caught that one right away on the Pulsar. Things kind of dried up a little bit for me, so I put a spot tail shiner on the same jig and was able to catch that one. There we go. But this time of year. Hooked up. Hooked up. <laughs> This time of year, there's a lot of bait fish, a lot of little young of the year perch and shiners that are coming up to spawn up on these shallow flats on the north end. It's just a great place to cover a bunch of shoreline breaks and catch fish. That one's a walleye cow. I got the right species this time, <laughs> yeah, Pat. You got a walleye. <laughs> oh, I can feel those teeth grinding. Looks like a little bit longer one, Pat. Long and skinny. Hey, that's a nice one. Boy, wow, he just, just choked, choked that. Yeah, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> I have to check that fluorocarbon leader on that one. Wow. wow. Look at that bait. Get his mouth open. Look at that thing. Gonzo. Interesting bait here, Pat. You know, I'm quickly becoming a, you know, it's a good go-to bait in the in the winter. And boy, this long skinny fish right here definitely is need to put the feed bag on after after a big spawn this, mm -hmm. this spring here. Nice Gorgeous fish. fish, yeah. Get this one back and get another one. 
It's exciting, just like any aggressive jig bite, man. Just mm -hmm. that little lift, slight little subtle lift up, hold it on a tight line and let it ease back to the bottom. Don't have to aggressively rip it, these last couple fish. Mm -hmm. Falls right back into their face and proof was in that walleye's mouth right there, man. If you're fishing a rip and wrap and it's just a little bit too much of an aggressive presentation, yeah. that's not gonna have quite as loud a rattles, but still has a great action when you work the bait. There we go. That one hammered it. There it goes. Oh, big bass. Wow. <laughs> Football. Yeah. Multi-species, you know. Just... Yeah. I kind of cheated on that when I caught him on live bait. <laughs> hey. <laughs> just a jig and a shiner. That's what I'm still fishing, but catches everything. It's a nice fish. Look at that. Just sitting on the bottom, checking my phone. <laughs> and that thing grabbed, that fish grabbed it. Sometimes they gotta make it easy. That's another nice one. Right? That one probably deserves a net, huh? Yeah, that one's a little bit of a net one there, yeah, but. Look at that. There you go. Beauty. Embarrassing as I say, that fish, that jig was just sitting on the bottom and I had quite a bit of slack out and uh, fish ate it. Short, shorter shank hook because I switched to a jig and a shiner. So a little bit short shank hook there. Nice fish, mm -hmm. low 20s, getting the feed bag back on. Followed oh, it out was, right to the boat, he huh? He was right under the boat. There we go. Switched up a little bit there, I just got that VMC 316th ounce finesse half moon jig, and that's just a 360 GT Coastal from Storm. I think that's the pilchard color. But nice healthy fish there. Get her back. Whammo! Doubles! <laughs> there we go. There we go, that's right. Beauty. Yowzers. <laughs> Doesn't matter what's What's on the end of the line as long as it bites, right? Yeah. I think we've caught a fish on just about everything we have in the boat. Get this big girl back real quick here. Do her job. Nice. I just switched over, Pat, to a 3 ace hair jig, VMC hair jig, and I found a old paddle tail laying in the bottom of my bag and it's clipped it off for a little bit of a little bit of attractant. And mm hmm that one seemed to work. That's got to be one of my favorite things about Mille Lacs is that, you know, you can pick a presentation or a tactic and get a lot of confidence in it by coming out here because they're so friendly out here. They'll bite a lot of different presentations and a lot of aggressive presentations. Uh, not that the hair jig's an aggressive presentation, but it just goes to show you they're willing to eat a lot of different things out here. There we go. He's back behind the boat. That a boy. I'm gonna well, get we, my line in. We switched tactics a little bit. We were kind of hitting the shoreline breaks, pestering those walleyes and smallmouths, and we decided to come out here on a little bit of a gravel bar. And we're out in about 20, 21 feet of water. Marked some fish and figured we'd see if we can get them. Staying down nice. Yeah, he is. Boy, it's hard to beat this lake this time of year. Pitching, yeah, it totally is. Pitching bites. I really like to take advantage of it every year, yeah, early nice season. Nice fish. That's a long one. Yeah, it is. There we go. There you go. Nice. Good work. Look at that. He just inhaled that. Early spring jig shiner, huh? Yeah. There we go. Just a moon eye jig and a shiner. Nice walleye there. Get him back and see if we can get in there and get another one. Well, that's going to do it for today's show. Uh, definitely a great casting bite going on on Mille Lacs right here. No surprise to anybody. It's just an awesome multi-species lake. You can get smallmouths and walleyes a lot of times in the same spots. And if you're looking to get confidence in a different kind of casting presentation that you're not used to, this is an awesome place to do it. The fish are aggressive here and you can really pick up and learn a new technique pretty easily. 
So we're going to be doing a bunch more of these videos in the weeks to come. Uh, make sure you subscribe to Gander Outdoors and In-Depth Outdoors so you don't miss another one of these episodes. What do you think, Cal? Put this thing on the trailer? Yeah, I think so, Pat. One last cast and uh, we can head her on out. For additional content related to this video, check out these videos. And don't forget to subscribe to In-Depth Outdoors and Gander Outdoors so you'll never miss a new video.